Welcome to Mindful. I'm Ellie Burrows, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of New York City's first drop-in meditation studio. We feature 35 expert teachers offering simple techniques in an accessible manner. Mindful exists to enable humans to feel good, and we do that by helping them build and or maintain a meditation practice. In 2008, um, I was working in the film business, and I had a little bit of a health scare, and it landed me in the office of a wonderful functional medicine doctor here in the city named Dr. Frank Lippmann. And while Dr. Lippmann was helping me sort of solve the physical aspects of my problem, there was an emotional component that also needed to be addressed. So he sort of introduced me to a series of masters and teachers and healers who ultimately blew open the door on my adult spirituality. And I found myself um, engaging in a practice called ecstatic breath work, which is a really dynamic practice um, where you're taking, it, you're taking deep breaths in and out in a certain sort of cycle, and you end up feeling quite euphoric after a few hours of practice. But you don't really want to send an email after that practice, and you don't really want to drive a car, and it's not exactly practical for everyday use. But I loved the benefits I was beginning to see um, from just engaging with my breath in a more meaningful way and sort of having that anchor you know, my unstressing practice. Through the practice of ecstatic breath work, I was beginning to see that relaxation that I was experiencing right after the practice. The more consistent I would do it, the more I'd begin to feel that relaxation throughout my day over the course of the week. It's a bit like going to the gym. Right? If you go to the gym once, it may not do much for you, but if you go consistently, you'll begin to see the benefits. You'll see your physiology change, you'll see your endurance change, um, and the benefits can be cumulative. However, the ecstatic, ecstatic breathwork practice would take like three hours to get to that state. So um, for me, I wanted something that was a little bit more practical for everyday use, something that I felt like I could send an email after or get into a car and drive and not get into an accident. So I started struggling with mindfulness meditation. Um, I was learning online, I was trying to access different teachers, and I was having a problem really making it stick consistently. So I set up a cushion in my home and an altar, um, and I noticed that I was showing up for my workout in between jobs two hours a day, six days a week, but I could barely show up for the cushion and the altar in my own home. So. I kept thinking about what this accountability structure was that was missing from my practice. And um, at the time, I was volunteering for Lodra Rinsler, who ultimately became my co-founder of Mindful. And I asked Lodra to go to tea to get some advice around how to be more consistent with a meditation practice. I also asked him how come there wasn't a place I could go in the city that didn't involve a week-long commitment or adopting a new religion or, you know, was intimidating to sort of get into. And he said it's only a matter of time before meditation studios are like yoga studios.